we are live <laughs> so we're live from my home we have bonbon bon. mm -hmm. oh, little bonbon bon. we have bam bam also anyway does anyone have any questions or have you all just switched off <laughs> from thinking how Rattling boring on. we have oh my gosh Oh, I'm sorry. I've recently separated, just moved into a wee house, and I have started uh, a little, uh, started some crafting. Wow, that's amazing. Good for you. Good for you, because I think when you're doing something for yourself, it could be making something. Yeah. It's that feeling of progress. Yeah, it is. It is that feeling of progress. Yes, it is. And especially if you've um, got a new change of circumstance, it's yeah. always nice to have a and bit listen, of focus. And listen, Gillian, I'm going to tell you, I've never told anyone online this before, but I, I'm divorced. Um, I've remarried um, and it doesn't matter if it's a divorce or separation or whatever but I, I generally know how that feels and it's a really tough time but you'll get through it and mm. just just be I know it's cliche to say be kind to yourself but really and truly start doing rituals for yourself that empower yourself whether it's a you know a nice bath a few times a week or it's just a new chapter so you don't change it's a new things up, chapter you? you've got to reframe mm. things to think like this is my new beginning it's mm. a new beginning not yeah. an ending it's a new beginning so i'm really yeah, rooting tough. for you it's tough i've i yeah i've been there and um i think we've all been there we've all had heartbreak yeah. haven't we yeah we have we have all had heartbreak okay let's see who else has got a... i'm going for face yoga Ooh. We've been Avril's talking about facial. Oh, we've been talking about mm. I mean, I did some facial exercise, which I did a video about jawline. That was yeah, really that was good. That was good. But it, the thing is, is keeping up. I'm doing this. Um, it's like a facial. Well, it actually really hurts. It kind of knuckles your face like that. Um, that and like I feel like it, it gouache is good as well Ooh. because actually it tones all the fascia. Yeah, underneath the this skin. Is what I, this is the, is the fascia. bit I don't like, so anything I can do and it to gives help a nice that. little smooth. Um, oh, Suzanne, thank you. So nice hearing you chat. Oh, thanks, mate. Oh, Avril, your comment was first. You're right. <laughs> please, please write in help at beautyintheboutique.com and just write. I commented on a live. <laughs> And I promise we'll you, on a the girls at Beauty in the Boutique <laughs> will send you something. Um, yeah, please, if touch. you can be bothered to do that, do that. Because I really want, it's just our way of doing it. I want to show my gratitude yeah. because um, well, it's nice I'm amazed that anyone ever there. watches my videos. So thank you. <laughs> um, oh, uh, love your videos, Taylor. Thank you so much. Um, Anita is, is so going to write in. Is there any more questions? Can I help anyone with anything? Um, oh, okay. Abby's oh, like going to do a pamper session on Friday. Get ready for her stepdaughter's birthday party. Um, and then Christmas shopping. Oh, my goodness. Hang on. Let me read. Christmas shopping after that. Yes, Abby. Now that sounds, Someone is with me. That sounds amazing. Abby, pamper, yes. Pamper and shopping. Pamper and shopping. Yeah, oh, I'm my goodness. That. that is the best. Um, oh, yeah. Abby, I, I'd love to know what you do for your pamper sessions. Yeah, actually, actually, I'm away, away this weekend with some friends, yeah. and it's just me and a couple yeah. of girls, and I'm thinking, oh, yeah, I can do like little facials, yeah. just just chat and. Do you know what? Oh, that's really nice. On idea. a Friday night, it's gifty. It's giving yourself a little reward mm. for the week oh, that's yeah, just I like gone. That. And you know what, it's sometimes those little Friday night rituals mm. that, you know, because I say, you know, I, in the old, in the old days, I mean, I used to be out every Friday night. Yeah. I mean, things have changed. Things have changed. <laughs> now I stay on New Year's Eve and look forward to it. <laughs> but, I, don't, I can't come out. <laughs> but I think just doing something for yourself, you know, it might be cooking a nice meal, it might be doing yeah. a face mask, it might be running a bath, it might be just being like, do you know what? I am going to choose a really lovely film yeah. and watch Something that. I want to do. Something that you want, want to, to do, do, rather mm. than pleasing everyone else mm. that I'm sure you've done all week. Friday night, please yourself. Yeah, make, make Friday gift, night your gift night. Gift to yourself, gift to yeah, yourself, that's love really it. Nice. Um, Suzanne loves Christmas. Yeah. Um, okay. 
Barbara says, any tips on how to fill fading eyebrows naturally? Ends of mine disappeared. Yes, Barbara, I mm. do. Um, okay, so have you ever dyed your own eyebrows before? Um, if you haven't, um, there's some really, really good eyebrow tinting um, ones out there. I would say always try and go for a cool, even if you're warm toned, go for a cool toned colour that's kind of the same shade, if not a little bit lighter than, than your roots. And the reason I say go a bit lighter because um, start off that way because yeah. you don't want to do it too much. And I remember when I first started dyeing my brows, if it said leave it on for two minutes, I'd leave it on for a minute, a half, and then check it. Ooh. And so, yes, there's brilliant dyes out there. I don't know any off the top of my head. I've never dyed my brows. No, I always use oh. a pencil. I mean, I do pencil mine in, but I do, I do, um, I go and get them dyed, but uh, mm. lockdown, I did all. Yeah, the, I think since dying. lockdown is where I've just yeah. started to pencil my yeah. own. So try that, or if you feel like that's too, too much, and perhaps you, you don't, you're, you're worried about that, then you can always, um, if you've got any brown eyeshadow at home, just take a little bit on a Q-tip. I don't have a, anything here really to show you. Well, pretend this was the Q-tip. Put a bit of shadow on the end and actually just, rather than go that way, go against the hairs mm. and that's just gonna coat the tips. Oh, that's a good idea. And then put a clear mascara over the top to set. Oh, yeah, I like yeah. that. Yeah, that's a nice Q-tip. Okay, is there any other questions? Um, uh, let's have a look. Oh, Gillian, I love this one. This is very this is... appropriate. <laughs> uh, I have a question. Menopausal sweat and makeup. Thank you. Appreciate your kindness. Regards separation. Oh, your mate. Oh, thank you, Gillian. That's very kind of you. So, okay, menopause. I've we've just, both just started HRT, haven't we? Yeah. So you started a month before me. Yeah. Um. Um. So I'm. I'm on my second month of HRT, so you're on your third. Mm -hmm. um, so totally get the the sweats. Um, yeah. Sweaty top lip is what we always Yeah, have. I mean, God, it's awful, isn't it? Um, and actually, I used to hear people talking about hot flushes, and I'd be like, oh, I'm sure it's not that bad. And I just thought it was a facial no. hot flush, but actually... It's internal boiling. It's, an in, it's like, I just sweat all over. It's yeah. just, oh, it's horrible. Um, okay, so... Uh, menopausal sweat and makeup. So I do have some tips off the top of my head. Now, what I've been doing is, and they, these sound really simple tips, but they have made a difference to me. In the past, okay, I would do my makeup and then I would do my hair. Mm -hmm. But actually what I've done is flipped it because I've realized as soon as I yeah. just put a little bit of heat, I just tend to just go Woof! So <laughs> simple yeah. things like, D blow drying your hair first before you do your makeup. Mm. Yeah, okay, because as soon as you put that heat from the hairdryer on, it just makes your body go stripping off. Yeah. Really. <laughs> oh my. Yeah. And then, so I I do my hair, then I pull my hair back, and then I wash my face because often where I've blow dried my hair, I've got all sweaty because mm. it's that. Yo, it's horrible. It's horrible. Yeah. And then, um, what I'm going to say in terms of um, we, I have found a foundation that's coming out, I think it's coming out in six weeks time, not a, a secret tip from a brand. And it's actually a foundation that's designed for people that work out a lot in sweat. So I was like, well, I'll I don't, sweat I don't work out a lot in sweat. I just, just sweat. sweat through being perimenopausal. But um, please, can you write in help at beautyintheboutique.com and if you um, just say, because it won't be me answering, but it'd be the girls back at Beauty and the Boutique HQ and just say, um, I'm looking for the foundation that's good for sweat proof foundation. Sweat -proof foundation. Mm -hmm. foundation. Not only will they give you all of my advice because I've put together a whole big documentation on 
sweating and makeup. Mm. You will get that if you email in, but also I'll ask them to take a note of your name, um, Gillian, so I just remember that, remember that Katie, remember so when that. I'm in work tomorrow I can let the girls know. And when that foundation comes out, um, we will we will let, let you know. know yeah. um, and actually if you send your photo in as well, um, yeah, you do colour match, can't you? We can colour match that for you. Um, so please write in help at beautyandtheboutique.com. If you're if it's too much to remember, just go onto beautyandtheboutique.com and go to instant message. Say you want help with sweatproof makeup, you will receive all of my advice. Yeah, I put it amazing. The girls yeah, and the team. I put as well, it all they? together for you. Um, okay, uh, what foundation oh. are you using? Oh. Good question. Good question, Amanda. <laughs> oh my goodness, it's like you know. So, yeah. hang on. Oh, where's that foundation? In the box. Casey? Oh, it's in the box. Yeah. Okay, if you go onto our Facebook page right now, I mean, well, don't all go because no one will watch. <laughs> <laughs> After this video, if you go on to our Facebook page, you will see that Katie and I have been testing out this foundation and it's what oh it's, it's what we've both got on now yeah oh my goodness so this is alibi um the perfect cover fluid foundation it's so good it is incredible um again you it's on our facebook page right now it's the um after this video it's the first video you'll see of me and katie i've got a link to it but you can also watch me and katie apply this if you're seeking a foundation that you don't need to wear concealer with as well, because it covers dark circles, it covers redness, it blurs the look of fine lines. Yeah, it's almost like a little space filter. It, it? This is incredible. So it, it's so good that um, me and Katie made a video about it earlier. That you gave it to me. I did give you this yeah, to you today you as well. Katie was like, I need that in my life. Yeah. She was like, yeah, you can have it. Thank you. Um, so um, go onto the Facebook page, have a look. If not, again, write in help at beautyandboutique.com and just say the foundation that Katie was using on Facebook. Yeah. They will give you a link. Also, you can send your photo in. We can colour match you. Yeah, the girls are amazing. They're yes. so good. Yeah. Um, okay. Um, what else have we got here? Oh, so Lucille says what she's doing for herself this week or this coming week is I'm hoping to rearrange my front room we put my desk in a corner and there's not enough light do you know what light can make you feel so much happier it's like when the sun comes out to me it's like a little hug yeah. because it just makes you smile oh, yeah it, it does if you go into yeah. a dark room it just does yeah. bring you down yeah sure um I work from home and need more light last winter oh my goodness I won't read this out because it's quite personal, but um, basically, as much to say, Lucille isn't looking forward to the winter. She's had an incredibly hard summer. So if you're watching this, please can everyone heart Lucille right oh, now? Oh yeah, sending you lots of because love. Because honestly, Lucille, you've had a really tough time, time of it. So everyone, please send a heart to Lucille. Please, please send our prayers to Lucille because Lucille really needs them. Yeah. And I'm telling you that, um, I'm sending, yeah. we're sending you so much Absolutely. love. Absolutely, and, and that's so kind of you to even write into us, so thank you. And you're right, the sun is coming, and as is your, your sun will be coming one day again very soon. And you know what? Yeah. You, you look to the sun and you, yeah. you tell that sun what you yeah. want, because I know, I wouldn't say I'm a, I'm, I'm not a religious person, but I am a, I do believe in nature is God. Yeah. To me, I'm faith. Uh, you know, I always have that belief that there is a lot of good, there's goodness out there in whatever form that is. Mm. And I have a theory that the sun is kind of like where well, it just keeps. It, yes, it's, it's, it's a hug, isn't it? Like you it's were just saying. a little hug. And then the sun is the creator of every. You know, it's just it. Yeah. It brings a smile. So yeah. But sending you lots of love. Yeah. Um, Avril. Uh, I need to place an order, so I'll add to the special notes. Oh, Avril, no, don't write to the special notes. That'll go to the warehouse. If you've got any special notes, write into help at beautyandtheboutique.com because I don't want to miss them. Um, okay, is there anything else? Is there any other question? Um, 
Oh, Anita loves the positivity cards on a Friday. Yeah. So if you haven't um, joined the positivity cards on a Friday, each Friday, oh, Bam Bam, one sec, Bam Bam wants to join us. Come on, little um, one. You may or may not know this, but um, I have four dogs, three cats, and there's a little dog in the background, Binky Boo, that is making <laughs> little whiny sounds. Um, we do positivity cards on a Friday, and these were cards that we did. Um, Katie's gonna go and get Binky Boo. Binky Boo is crying. Binky Boo, she probably wants a chew. All the dogs uh, come to work with it every day at Beauty the Boutique. It's kind of like a doggy crush there. Um, oh, you got Bon Bon. Okay, Bing Bon Bon. So positivity cards, it's something that we did um, during COVID and um, myself and uh, my friend Sandra wrote all the positivity cards and it's essentially, you, we put the cards out on a Friday on Facebook, you pick a card and then we flip them over and we read you your positivity reading for the coming week. It's just and a nice little pick me up, It's a it? really lovely pick me up and it gives us so much joy at Beauty in the Boutique that um, we decided to carry them on forevermore and it's actually very much part of Beauty in the Boutique, isn't it, the positivity yeah, cards? Yeah, it is. They're, they really yeah, they've evolved, haven't they? And they, I think it's yeah, something we couldn't be without now. Couldn't be without them. And um, I feel they're very sentimental to me um, because I feel like during that lockdown time, I just felt like, oh, what can I do for yeah. you know, people? And I thought, so I. Yeah, how can um, we help each other? Yeah, really how as can well? we help each other? So um, those positivity cards are, are really are yeah. heartfelt from, from, from all of us. Um, any other questions? I, I can't do Christmas till after my son's birthday. No, I get that. Sometimes you just gotta like get the birthdays <laughs> yeah. out of the way. Oh, Teresa says, congratulations on your first live. Oh, thank you, Teresa. Greetings from Ireland. Oh, my first love was from Ireland. Hope you're not listening, Crispian. His name was, <laughs> actually. <yeah. laughs> Crispian was uh, your first love. Uh, yeah, <laughs> no, my, fir my first love, uh, Colin Shanahan. He might be watching. He might, I doubt it. Um, <laughs> But yeah, he was from <laughs> Kerry in Ireland and he was my first ever love from Ireland. So nice thoughts of Ireland. Um, oh, any tips on foundation not setting in fine lines? Suzanne, that is a brilliant question. And I have the answer for you. Um, it, I actually posted the video today on our Facebook page um, and I'll show you how to do it in the, in the video. It's on the Facebook page, but if you cannot find it, email in help at beautyintheboutique.com and the, the team at Beauty in the Boutique will help you. But essentially, it involves using a hobo oil, which you can, I mean, we sell it at Beauty in the Boutique, the one that I like to use, but you can get it anywhere. And you put a little drop of the hobo oil on the back of your hand. And a hobo oil, although it's called an oil, it's actually the closest to our natural sebum in our skin. So it really does blend well with the skin. It and doesn't look oily, does it? It doesn't look oily and the skin soaks it up and loves it. Mm. Now, what I do is I put a little drip of the hobo oil on the back of my hand, massage it in, and then with my ring finger, I tap in any of the residue. And for example, fine lines under the under the eyes, I'll put foundation concealer on whatever, and then I'll just press in the jojoba oil very, very slightly. And honestly, it's, the magic, fine, it's it? like magic. If you want to see that in action, it's on our Facebook page. Today I posted that one. Um, but again, if you can't find it, just write in help at beautyandboutique.com. Say you want the hobo oil tip with the concealer. I've made a video, you can watch it all there. Um, Anita says, I need tips on very, very dark circles. I look like a panda. Oh, oh, oh. mate, you've let me to tell right you, you, you've come to the right woman because <laughs> I have, I've always suffered with dark circles and people say like, oh, you need to get more sleep. I just have really thin skin under my eyes. So what I'm gonna do, I'm actually gonna take, I've got a little wipe here. Is anybody ready for this? Is anybody ready for this? I should, this should, this should be, um, I'm gonna take, I'm gonna take this off and then I'm going to show you how incredible this foundation is. Um, 
uh, concealing dark circles and not even a concealer, yeah, it's a foundation. It is amazing. But listen, um, not to sound like a broken record, but I have written a whole information sheet on dark circles. I don't know if anyone knows this, but if you write in to Beauty and Boutique with any yeah. question, honestly, it's like Katie Encyclopedia. Mm. I have it, I, it's more than a dissertation that I've written. Yeah, you've worked really I've, hard on it. Yeah, I mean, I've, Beauty yeah. Boutique is now 12 years old. And over those 12 years, any time someone's written in with a question, I've put together a whole fact sheet on help, mm. what works, you know tips they can do. Because you know it's going to help someone Because I know well. if someone's mm. asked, it's going to help another. So you can write in, just say you need help from dark circles, you will get all of my help, because it's quite extensive. But... For what we're doing now in this live, if I, I'm going to take this off. Um, get nice and close. Yeah, I'll get nice and close. Hang on, let me just uh, put a little bit of moisturiser underneath. Otherwise, I'm going to drag off my. Um, hang on. Right. Okay, so this is for you, Anita, because you might have a foundation at home that does something similar. But if you don't, I'm going to give you a tip of how you can use your foundation in a different way to give you a bit more coverage. Sorry, Bon Bon wants to come and sit oh, with you bon now. Bon. Come and sit on my lap. <laughs> okay, look. So, there you go. Oh, so <laughs> oh, I'll have to ignore it. We've got a live going on. Maybe it's someone come round and go to ask us a question in real life. <laughs> it's all right, Pops. Okay. I mean, this is. I mean, just this life. is this is real life stuff. This isn't it? Come on. Okay. So take this foundation, Alibi, little bit. Again, if you want the link to this foundation, um, you can see it on um, our recent Facebook post I've posted today about this foundation, or you can write in and t and tell the girls help at beautyboutique.com, write in and say you want to know, you want the link to this foundation. Oh dear. Katie, I might have to ask you to get the door because they're, they're actually- Excuse me. They're still knocking. Who is it? Who is it? We're going to find Ireland out. From oh, I think it's Colin from Ireland. Um, okay, so there you go. Right, put a bit on the back, back of your hand there. Now, tap. When you're wanting more coverage under your eye, tap. A lot of people, and you might do this with your concealer as well, a lot of people will apply and actually wipe like that, which is fine to do on this area here because you don't have so much darkness. But where you, most people have more darkness here, and where we have that darkness, tap the product. And you think, oh no, that's never gonna blend. Sorry, I'm not looking at you. I'm looking at myself doing this. But when you start tapping, it all starts just melting into the skin. Now, can you see, just a little bit from my hand, there's no concealer here, it's just that foundation, it's just this foundation. Oh, such a good coverage. Yeah. And you'll see, if you go onto our Facebook page today, Katie and I have actually done a video on, we've taken all our makeup on, off and applied it. That's something to look forward to. <laughs> I mean, it's a bit, I need to, it looks it's much so, more fresher I mean, than this side. It looks so Mary Arxway, doesn't it? So, um, but yeah, yeah, I would say this is really good, but I've got loads of tips for you, Anita, for dark circles, um, skincare to use. Also um, got some amazing concealers as well. Oh yeah. But yeah, so right in, help at Beauty and Boutique. And I don't know if anyone does this at home, but I want to show you this. When you do your concealer, always put a little bit on your brow bone because it gives, a, as well as brightening here underneath, you kind of want to lift your brow bone as well. Yeah. And also, if, you, if you've got something that you feel like, oh, it's too light, just make sure you blend it down into your cheek bit there so it doesn't look too obvious. So that's, that's a really it's good so one. nice. Um, okay, how, Hazel asks, how to get lipstick to stay on? I'm struggling with this constantly, I'm 67, so I'm not sure if it, it's an age thing. No, it's not an age thing at all. You're not alone. Um, I think especially um, with face masks and things like that, you know, lipstick can go everywhere. Now, 
what I'm gonna say, um, Hazel, is there's really good lipsticks out there that will stay put all day. However, those lipsticks, because they're quite drying to stay on, they can be a little bit um, dehydrating to your lips. Mm. So that's the only thing when you seek a lipstick that is pretty much, um, uh, not sweat proof, smudge proof. Smudge proof, yeah. So if you were to Google smudge proof lipsticks, they would come up with loads. But what I wanna share with you is how you can make your lipsticks at home smudge proof, because you don't wanna go out and spend more money on stuff. You wanna get your lipsticks yeah. that you love to last. So there's a couple of things you can do. The first thing you can do is, um, Hazel, have you worn a lip liner before? Um, lip liners are great because they will not only help enhance your natural lip shape, but they will also prevent any of the lipstick bleeding, bleeding up. And if you were to apply your lip liner first, then colour your entire lip with your yeah. lip liner, and then put your lipstick on top, as your lipstick wears away for the day, you'll have your lip liner underneath, so you'll always yeah. have a lovely colour. And if you're ever one worried, like, oh, I'm not sure what lip liner to get to, to use, you know, if you always look for um, a shade that's like two to three shades darker than your natural lip tone, that'll pretty much go with any lipstick that you already own. So you could do that, or you could simply apply your lipstick, then get some tissue, bathroom tissue, Pull apart the ply, so make it into a really single thin. thin layer, blot, then apply again, blot, then put either blush or loose powder over your lip. Tap it on like that. Then dust off and then put your lipstick over the top and that will... So is it just a dip on lips? Yeah, it's like, like an old fashioned makeup artist tips really. Like mm. in the old days before we had smudge proof um, lipstick, that's how we'd do it. We'd just create lots of thin layers with, with powder in between. So that's a really good tip. I must say though, before you go on, uh, you taught me the thing about the lip liner. Yeah. And I found that's a game changer because mm. if you've got lip liner all over your lips, you know when it wears off and it's almost like it yeah. cakes around the edges and yeah. then you're left bare? Yeah. If you've got that lip liner underneath, yeah. it really just evens yeah. it out so you can just put a little bit more yeah. lipstick on. And I think uh, uh, not enough people use lip... I mean... No, I don't I mean, I, do. I just think, you know... I, I don't I don't want to say something controversial, but I think, you know, I'm we're both a few years away from 50, aren't we? Mm. And as you get older, you know, your lips do start to change. And I think yeah. if you've got a lip liner, that really does play up your lip shape. Yeah, it just defines them again. It so really defines yeah. them. And um and you do that, put your lipstick on top and then put a tiny bit of gloss in the middle, just there. It's not a lot of people like all yeah. gloss all over. Just in the middle, makes your lips look so plump and beautiful, yeah. doesn't it? Yeah. You totally yeah. got me onto lip yeah. liner. It's a definite game changer. If anyone's think wanting to see a lip liner that pretty much goes with any every single lipstick, um, I don't have it here to show you because I'm at home, but write in help at beautyandtheboutique.com and we will send you the link to, um, the girls will send you the link to the lip liner that I swear by. It's a kind of two in one. It makes your lips look more oh, voluminous. Yeah. Yeah, and it, it looks so good on everyone. So write in and we'll, we'll, we'll get you that. Um, right, well, oh, Avril's got a good question. Can you actually get powder to work without looking yuck over faulty skin? Uh, yeah. Avril, oh, God, that, that, is such, that is such a good yeah. question. Um, yeah. So, yes, you can. And it also depends on what type of powder you're using. Nowadays, um, if you get a really good powder, it should be really, really finely milled. And when I say finely, so it feels almost... It's like corn flour, isn't like it? Corn, like really, really velvety. Fine. And that really shouldn't go, go cakey. But what I would say is some top tips, okay, I'm gonna give you a few here. If you're wearing a fluid foundation, okay, or perhaps you've applied too much, sometimes what happens is when you put the powder over the top, it starts to go a bit cakey. So what we want you to do is put your foundation on, 
then get a tissue, split it in half, like get the ply, and then just press and blot to take off that excess foundation. That's a really good And you'll, you'll be amazed at actually what, what comes off. Mm. Then, then I want you to get your powder and rather than dust it with a big brush, I want you to get a puff and I want you to press and roll in only the areas that you either want totally matte mm. or you, well, I guess you do want it matte if you, or you want it to last all day. Yeah. Press and roll. You're gonna use this motion like that, like that. Another tip is if you're over the, if you're a certain age and you're like, cause I think, I mean, I do love face powder. I love face powder. But what I will do is I will only wear it on my chin, around my nose, a bit on my forehead, and then I will leave my cheeks free from face powder mm. because I think it's nice to have them look a bit more gleamy. That's it also it, stops it looking cakey, doesn't yeah, it? Yeah, and it stops it looking through. cakey. Uh, another option you could do, Avril, is put your, um, if, you, if all that sounds like too much faff, you know, put on your foundation, uh, put on your, your face powder, and then you're gonna get a spritzing um, face spray. Um, we've got them on Beauty in the Boutique. I've handpicked a few. Again, write in help at beautyinthebutique.com, they'll send you the links. Um, but it's essentially, it's not quite a setting spray, but it's a spray that adds high natural. It adds hydration back to the face. And if you if you feel like your face looks cakey, this um, oh god, I can't even remember the name of it. Sorry. Oh, it's because it's a lie. Are you thinking slay or are you thinking not slay all day? Uh, the babe balm. Babe babe balm. No, not babe balm. Oh, it'll come to us. Write in help at beautyboutique.com. The girls are much more helpful than we. Are. <laughs> <laughs> and say, ask them about the spray, and just you're going to spritz it over, and it makes your skin look real again. Because sometimes when you put that loose powder on, mm. it I know what you mean. It can look a bit too like. I think a lot of people think powder, they get scared. I think a lot of people get scared do. of powder. Um, alternatively, you can look at the powder that I use again. Help at Beauty Boutique. Let them know yeah, they'll send really you. Nice. I'm so sorry, I don't even have. Next time we do be a live. Prepared. Next time we do a live. I mean, this live was meant to be just us showing what well, we, we were, were going to do for we, the week. We Nothing about makeup. It's now dark. But next time, it's dark outside. <laughs> We've had Amazon delivery and all sorts. Um, but next time, I'm going to have my my makeup kit here, my yeah. professional makeup kit, so I can show. Yeah, and then we can get better yeah. answers of our questions. Okay. Um, uh, oh, Lucille, I have a question. What do you do for skin that has been dehydrated? Um, okay, Lucille, that is a good question. Um, I mean, this sounds like the, the, a real bore, doesn't it, this, this answer, but there's a couple of things you can do. I'm gonna say drink water, but what I'm actually gonna say with drinking water is, do you know you can get those, um, actually I'm gonna find them because they're in my, my drawer you because I use them. Please wait there, Lucille, I'm gonna show you what you can add to your water to give your skin that amazing Ooh. hydrated look. I don't know if you've tried these yet. One sec, be back. Oh, one sec. It's just one me sec. and Ron. Run. All right, hang on, right. Oh, what's she getting? Okay. These, you can see I, I use these. Um, they're on beautyintheboutique.com. Um, they're H3O Hydration. Um, it's a powder and you put a little drop into your water and it just hydrates all your skin. Um, not just on your face, but all over your body. So that's a really good, really good one to do in your water because you do need to up your water take. I mean, I've been trying to do more of that. It's really underestimated yeah. how much if I drink more water, how much yeah. better I feel. My body's functioning yeah. better. But can I share with you um, what I put in my water to make me drink it? So I'm like a baby. It's like, I don't want to drink water. Hang on, say it. I've got to show you. One sec. No, it's nice than my beat. No, one sec. Hang on. I don't think so. Keep everyone, keep everyone there, Casey. <laughs> I'll just do a little song. Okay. What's she got now? Right. What have I got? Okay, 
Before I share this, I must tell you, nothing is ever affiliated, endorsed or anything. No one ever wants to sponsor me for any... <laughs> it's not what we do. I just share things that I you love. On, it's like, yeah, so this is not an ad or anything. Okay, this is probably back to front. Robinson's Blackberry Cranberry Slow Fruit Cordial. It's kind of like a grown-up... You can hear it's glass. Can you have it with sparkling water? You can have it with sparkling water. They do a whole range, Robinson, of this like adult um, cordial. Um, and it's in a light, nice posh glassy thing. And I put this in my water and it actually makes me drink, drink water. So I really love that. Another thing you can do um, with, I don't know if you know this tip, Katie. I don't know if I've shared this tip with you about dehydrated skin. Right, listen to this. Okay. Really, really simple. This is a game changer. Is everyone listening? This is so simple to do. When you get out the bath or shower, do not completely dry yourself off before applying your body moisturizer. Why? Because if you apply your body moisturizer when your skin, skin is still damp, it will seal in all that hydration. I didn't know that. And it's, it's, it really is. A real oh. game changer. I oh. always, I never dry myself completely. I let myself be a bit oh, damp, and then I put my body moisturizer. I've got like on. shins, like a crocodile yeah. skin. Yeah, so that's that really go. good. And 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 also um, with dehydrated skin, it's really really key to exfoliate because yeah. often um, if you if you don't exfoliate. I mean, if you're under the age of 30, you probably don't need to exfoliate that much. But if I would say, if you're, especially if you're over the age of 40, um, exfoliation, it, I mean, all over your body, mm. it sloughs off all the dead skin cells. So when you put all your lovely body moisturizers yeah, on, on, or your, your skin, face it? creams, it's going to your skin. Yeah, that's it's actually going a good to point. your skin, and it, that's you know your skin's crying out. So don't waste your money putting all your nice creams Expensive. on your dead skin. Yeah, get the dead skin yeah. off and then put it on. Yeah, and you don't have to use um, posh exfoliators. You could use a, a muslin cloth for your face, or you could get one of those exfoliating mitts. mitts yeah. Um, so that's that's yeah, a I'd really definitely try the damp yeah. skin thing. I didn't. Yeah, know it's that. a real it's a real easy one. Um, Right. Um, oh, thank you, Laurie. I love the products you have. Love your videos and customer service. Ah, oh, do you know what? Thank you so much. I must say, uh, we have, I mean, I know I'm biased, but the girls, they're actually called our happiness team. They're the so girls nice. in our happiness team, and we not, we're, we're very lucky. We, everyone at Beauty and Beauty is, is extremely lovely. The happiness team, it's pretty much, that is what they do. And it's there just, is nothing they don't know. Yeah, they, they just brings so much joy to um, all of our lovely um, community on mm. Beauty and the Boutique. So um, if you're going through a tough time, write in, tell them, they will do their best to change your day up. Yeah, it doesn't just have to be about beauty either, about anything. No, it could be about anything. I mean, something that we've done since, since the, the very beginning of Beauty and the Boutique, 12 years ago, was we do, so the happiness team, they're actually, they have, they're not, they only have one, one aim to do each day and that is to do five random acts of kindness mm. for all of our lovely community. So that's something that is really key yeah, to us as a that, business is doing random acts of kindness. So if you're going through a tough time, write in. Yeah, let them know. Let them know because they will be absolutely lovely and, uh, and they, hopefully be able to help. Yeah, and they might do a little way. random act of kindness. Um, okay. Oh, Abby says, there is stuff called lip coat. If you wear lipstick, put some of that on top, should keep it on. Abby, you're completely right. I've got some of that lip coat. I remember lip coat. And it, do you know what? It's back from the 80s, that, yeah. isn't it? Lip coat is a little saviour. Um, the only thing I find is that it feels, it stings my lips. Yeah, I suppose if your lips are a bit sensitive. But I will give you a top tip. If you're using lip coat, do you remember that from the 80s? It's like in a little, it looks like a nail varnish, varnish bottom, yeah. doesn't it? And you put it over your lips. Don't use the brush to put it on your lips because it will take the lipstick off of your lipstick and you'll put it back into your lip coat and it will make your lip coat a, a colour. And then you'll put it over another lipstick and you'll merge all the colours together. So, 
plain fingers, put a little bit of lip coat on your ring finger and press it over your lips. And that way your lip coat will always remain. Yeah, and it's not gonna be too thick then either. No, no, so that's a really good tip. Okay, we're probably boring everyone now. Um, <laughs> and can't see anyone anymore. <laughs> Um, it's getting quite dark in here. So listen, um, I just checked. There's, if you if we haven't answered your question, um, please um, forgive. It's just that we haven't seen it. So please write in help at beautytheboutique.com with your question so that we can help you. Yeah. Because I hate to feel that anyone hasn't been helped that needed help. And we just like to hear from you. Yeah, it's and it's like really to nice to hear from everyone because. Like, as I say, this is our first live. The fact we've got 54 people watching and this. And some lovely and So thank interaction. you. Thank you from yeah. the bottom of our hearts. It means so much that you should watch this. It's, I know how busy everyone is. It's your time, so I'm really, really, really appreciative. And gives us a bit time. of confidence to do yeah, it again. Yeah, it does. It gives us a little boost. I mean, do you want us to do this again? If you're watching this and it's not live and you want us to do it again, please let us know. Yeah. Please give us feedback. What can we do for you? Because yeah. I always think, you know, I'm here to serve you. We're here to serve you. So please let us know yeah. what we can do for you. And I will just say thank you so much. So grateful and uh, feel very, very lucky to have such lovely, lovely people. Yeah, in the absolutely. I think we're really lucky. Every day I feel like pinching myself. I just think everyone is so lovely and we're so lucky. So thank you so much. Have a lovely evening, everyone. Yeah, thanks, I hope guys. whatever you set yourself to do this week for you, it's a gift to you. So remember, do something for you. Me and Katie are rooting for you. Yeah, yeah. And um, we'll say lots of love. I don't know how to finish this live, so excuse me. So there'll be lots of fingers <laughs> pointing at the screen. <laughs> lots of love. Bye, everyone. Bye, bye. Guys, bye. bye, bye, bye.